And I introduce you to the rules to a clever little vector racing game called Racetrack. It's uh, played between two or more racers, and your goal is to uh, pick a spot on the starting line, race around this track using vector notation, component vectors, uh, and the first person to cross the finish line, of course, wins the race. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is pick a starting spot for your vehicle uh, at one of the intersections on the start line. And the way the game works is, is each turn you're allowed to adjust the vector that your car is racing at. Now at the beginning of the race our car is not moving so the vector is 0, 0, going 0 in the x direction, 0 in the y direction. On your turn in order to make a move what you're allowed to do is you're allowed to increase or decrease either the x or y component of your vector. You can't change both of them and you can only change them by a value of 1. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to start moving to the left. This racetrack goes around the left. Uh, and so I want to start moving left in the x direction. So I'm going to decrease the x component of my vector by 1. That means I will go left one space and up to zero spaces. I draw the new location of my car and connect my car to the line. On the next move, I probably want to continue speeding up, so I'll change my x component down to negative 2. That means I go to the left two spaces. Again, y remains the same. And it's the beginning of the race, so I'm probably going to speed up yet again. Negative 3. Of course, if I was playing against someone else, we would be taking turns making these moves, and uh, my opponent would have his or her own section to keep track of vector movements. Uh, I'm going to keep speeding up, up to negative 4, 0. Left 4 spaces, up or down, nothing. Okay. Uh, and let's go again to negative 5. I think I can get this fast and not go out of control. It means moving 5 spaces to the left. Okay. Now, uh, surprisingly, I'm, I'm starting to get up towards this turn. And I need to, to make sure I'm ready for that and that I'm not going too quickly. Because remember, you can only slow down by a value of 1 each time. So what I'm going to do is I, I want to keep moving at 5, but I'm going to start turning. So I want to go down 1 in the y direction. Remember, I can only change one of these values, not both of them. So negative 5 1s means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left and down 1. And that's my new move. And now I want to start slowing down a bit so I can make this turn. So I'm going to change my x component back up to negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 1. And I'm going to cut this curve quite closely, but I want to continue slowing down. So negative 3, negative 1. It means left 3 and down 1. Okay and then left 2 and down 1. I'm going a little bit fast, so I'm going to kind of slide past this turn a little bit. Probably not the most desirable thing, but that's okay. Let's go negative 1, negative 1. And then let's start going straight down. So let's go 0, negative 1. This way my x changes none, but my y goes down one. Okay. Um, all right, now here I might have some interesting options. Do I want to go down two spaces this time, or do I want to start turning to the right? Let's, let's go ahead and start getting that right momentum. No, no let's go straight down. So zero, negative two causes me to go down two spaces. And now I'm going to start turning. So positive 1, negative 2 allows me to move right 1 and down 2. And positive 2, negative 2 allows me to move right 2 spaces and down 2 spaces. And now I need to be heading this direction, so I want to stop going down and start going straight sideways. So maybe my next move would be 2, and let's move this back to a negative 1.
The goal, of course, is then to make it around the racetrack in the fewest number of moves. If you happen to make a vector movement that causes you to crash into the wall, okay, what happens is you're going to pick the closest intersection next to the wall that you ran into. So we ran into here. Now, we're not going to pick one further up the racetrack. We'll pick one further back. So on my next turn, if I crash into this wall, I'm not necessarily out, though. In real life, that's probably what would happen. We're going to restart from a nearby intersection, but you're going to have to restart with your car at rest. And so you're going to have to speed back up again. So you're going to start again at 0, 0 and, and do your vectors from there, um, which can really slow you down. So your goal, really strong goal, to not run into any walls. Uh, players, as they play racetrack, can cross paths. That is okay. However, two players cannot occupy the same space. So if this blue car decided to go forward five spaces and run into this car, they would crash. So if it's blue car's turn, blue would have to choose to do something different, maybe only going forward four spaces, or maybe going forward five spaces and up one space. And so the cars can never cross each other, uh, can never uh, run into each other, meaning they can never land on the same spot, but their paths can cross. There you would just assume that one car zooms past and the other one crosses right behind it or right in front of it. Um, so that is okay. Uh, and this is uh, how you play racetrack. Continue picking vector movements uh, until someone crosses the finish line first. And you should have, when you're done, a complete list of all of the vectors that you used throughout the course of the game.